Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine. Welcome to summer. It's June 1st, and hopefully we're all re-emerging from our cocoons that we've spent the last three months in semi-quarantine. I think a lot of the heat's off with that. Of course, you still need to practice hygiene, but um, the paranoia that a lot of people had for the last three months um, hopefully is gone, and that we can begin kind of semi-returning to a normal lifestyle. Certainly, we've been doing that at Performance Medicine for the whole time. So, um, And hopefully, we've given you some good advice on how to get through this thing. So everything still applies. You can just use your common sense, stay healthy, wash your hands, and you know prevent doing those things that made you vulnerable to getting sick with COVID in the first place, i.e., Obesity, hypertension, heart disease, bad diet, poor sleep. So stay healthy. That's one of the things that I've always preached in my career at Performance Medicine, and that will never change. So anyway, it's June. It's summer. Um, June is Men's Health Month. So for the whole month of June, I'm going to be concentrating on men's health issues. And, of course, I do a lot of... Uh, hormonal evaluation, um, being a 65-year-old man, I hope I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm being a hormone expert and a men's health expert. Um, hopefully I can bring you a lot of good information. Today we're going to talk about a wonder drug. Can anybody guess what that is? Cialis or Tadalafil, which is the generic name. Um, this is truly a medicine that is a wonder drug for a lot of reasons. We think of it being a medicine just for erectile dysfunction, and it is. It's my preferred drug for that. Um, and it's also indicated for BPH, a large prostate. Um, so it's we've used it for years for both those. Um, but there's a lot of other off-label uses uh, that it works for. Um, a lot of other beneficial uses to Cialis. Um, this first came to light for me a few years ago when I was in Nashville at a meeting and met uh, several cardiologists from Boston. Um, and they were, one, I talked to one of them about the other off label uses of Cialis since he brought it up. Of course, we know that it releases nitric oxide, relaxes smooth muscles of the arteries, and so it brings down your blood pressure. And he was saying to him that Cialis was even a more beneficial drug than statin drugs to protect your heart. Now, that's big coming from a cardiologist who used statins out the wazoo. I'm not a big statin fan uh, like a lot of doctors are because I see the, the untoward side effects of it, and I think the statins are mostly overused. Unless you've had a heart attack or stents, statins are useful because of the anti-inflammatory effects that they promote, but I'm not big on them you know, for everybody with a cholesterol over 200. I think that's certainly a terrible misappropriation of the statin drugs. Um, but I'll never forget what he said about uh, Cialis being very cardioprotective, and um, that stuck with me. Um, it works by releasing nitric oxide, relaxing small blood vessels in the uh, artery so that's kind of how it works we've known it works for pulmonary hypertension for years but it also has some other kind of off-label uses it, we use it even for prevention of altitude sickness uh, for people going skiing in high altitudes I use it even in women for Raynaud's phenomena that's a condition where it's an autoimmune condition where your fingers and and the toes get really cold and blue, um, especially in cold weather. And it really helps a lot for that. One of my nurses uses it for this. Um, it also treats sexual dysfunction in males receiving antidepressants. You know how the SSRIs can really destroy your sex life? Well, you can add that, and it really helps it. 
Another one I add for that's another antidepressant when I have to use them, and that's called Wellbutrin. So that sometimes that'll offset the negative side effects of SSRIs when you have to use them for depression when nothing else works. Again, I believe a healthy healthy lifestyle is the best thing you can do for that and exercise. So um, Cialis does increase your circulation both to your red blood cells. It provides oxygenation. Um, it increases your exercise capacity in men and women. And again, in women, this is an off-label use, but again, we can use off-label uses as physicians. We use it all the time. Probably half of the medicines we use are off-label anyway. Um, so it does work. I know a lot of people that lift weights that take one about an hour before they lift weights, and it really helps them. You can kind of get that uh, pump by using Cialis about an hour before you exercise man or woman and it also there's a lot of evidence that it increases sexual performance and desire in women and again i like cialis because it's a daily low dose with virtual no side effects i've seen a few patients get a little low back pain with it but uh, compared to viagra or sildenafil or levitra um, i like it a lot better because it's a little more subtle you know you need to take it um uh, an hour or two before sex, but unlike Viagra Levitra, you can take that half hour before. But those other two give you headache, they flush you, stuff your nose up. I really don't like them. I like a daily low-dose Cialis. I think it has a lot of uses for men and maybe for women. Um, how do you take it? Take it at the same time every day. Um, heavy meals will negate some of the good side effects, so try to take it um, not on a heavy meal. Um, alcohol will sometimes interfere with the effectiveness of Cialis. Um, and of course, you have to avoid nitroglycerin. You cannot take nitroglycerin with any of that class of PD-5 uh, inhibitors, what we call them. So you can't be taking nitroglycerin for your heart and take any of these drugs. Um, the thing about Cialis, it stays in your system for a couple days. Um, you need to probably avoid taking it right around when you do grapefruit or grapefruit juice as you do a lot of medications and even vitamins. Grapefruit juice uh, within two hours will kind of negate some of the side effects of it. So um, that's a general discussion on the use of daily Cialis. I'm a big believer. There's a lot of off-label uses. It lowers your blood pressure. It protects your heart. It increases your circulation. Uh, both peripherally and also increases oxygenation for your red blood cells for your general use. So it's a really good uh, medication um, to enhance a lot of things. I'm all for it. Um, any question? And now that, you know, the only side effect or <laughs> the only drawback in Cialis is, was it used to be really expensive. And nowadays you can get it generically or we get a lot of compounded Cialis and a lot of times I'll combine the compounded Cialis with another beneficial hormone uh, called oxytocin. That's a really good um, uh, sublingual under the tongue form that I, that I like to use. But um, but anyway, so if you have prostate problems, blood pressure problems, if you're wanting to protect your heart and circulation, which you should be, as you get to be a middle-aged male or female. Think about uh, Tadalafil or Daily Cialis. Again, this is June 1st. Um, it's Men's Health Month. I hope to bring uh, a lot of good information to men. And also, this is beneficial for the women to listen to also because they can tell their men about it. Men are a little more reluctant to come to the doctor than women. So, as you know, women are the drivers of health care. Um, so, women take note of that. Um, Hope this is beneficial. We'll see you next week. Tune in to all of our broadcasts on uh, the things we do at Performance Medicine every week, actually four times a week. Uh, so look at our Facebook, Instagram, uh, look at your email, and we'll keep you up to date with the, all the, uh, the good things on Aging Better. So June Men's Health Month. Thank you. We'll see you next week.